Hello, hello. Welcome on into another episode of the Whiskey Crusaders. I'm Will. I'm Sarah. And I'm Matt. On this Saturday's The Core Series, we're going to be exploring Galliano and their ristretto. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about that big-ass bottle? All right. Galliano ristretto. Look at this. Can't even fit in the... Look there at you it. go. Look, look at this. It takes up the whole damn screen. It looks like a it's baseball bat. This is my baseball bat of uh, some liqueur here. I mean, this is a nice bottle. It's beautiful. Look at this black bottle. Look at the sexy matting on there. Please stop stroking the black bottle. So good. So good. Just like the bottle says, I like it. It's 30%. Oh, uh, let's see here. It is. So this is made. This is a caught. This is a cafe liqueur. This is an espresso liqueur. It so it uses two different types of coffee beans. It has a strong, bitter, robusto beans from Kenya and India, along being blended together with a creamy chocolate arabica coffee from beans. From Brazil and Colombia, so okay. famous cocktails that can make this is the espresso martini, the Galliano uh, Amaretto sour, a white Russian, a risotto and co- a co- sorry, co- Coke, a cafe Amaretto, an Italian hot chocolate, a Godfather Part Two. Yeah, it's a beautiful bottle though. I really, really like that label. Yeah. Do we know what uh, type of liquor they're using? Um, they use the Galliano as the base. Okay. And then they add the co- these coffee liqueurs to it. Whoa, oh, yeah, that's, that's coffee. coffee. That's it is coffee expressive coffee. like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. This is opening up a fresh uh, a fresh uh, package of ground coffee. It's it's grinding fresh oh, beans is what it is. Yeah. I'm sure, like, you know, the base product for all these things is going to be, you know, um, NGSs has to be. Okay. But, yeah, so it's espresso, coffee beans, sugar. It's got a little bitterness, like, like almost overburnt coffee a little bit. Yeah. Too overly roasted yeah yep kind of like starbucks which is a shitty coffee they haven't been to 151 which is much better i don't know starbucks isn't shitty when it's free i still think it's shitty because the coffee sucks i prefer duncan so for straight black coffee oh well well, we're not going that straight black we're going for like the cafe macchiatos and things actually Uh, yeah i don't drink a whole lot of those i just like my solid coffee my wife likes them so she likes to go to the 151 all the time 151 is a good company it's a great company a great coffee and i hope they put starbucks out of business because they suck good luck with that oh (laughs) they're putting some sugar in there too ma'am um it's not overly sweet there's a bitter component that kind of comes in mid-palate they definitely add sugar. It's very, very coffee driven. Yeah. But this is sweet coffee driven. That's way too sweet for me for coffee. Yeah. If I'm drinking coffee, I want my bitter. I want my yeah. light bitter. I put a little bit of sweetener in my coffee, but not like this. It's just, yeah, it's a slight bitter, but not, yeah, it's mostly espresso, coffee beans. Then you got a lot of sugar in this, but then it's got, the, it's got like a, like a wet coffee grounds finish. Yeah. It kind of does. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. And the finish oh, is nice. Good. It's. I think it's gonna be great just even over ice. I think it's gonna be a really nice, like yeah. a uh, like a cold brew coffee. I think yeah. Really ice, ice, and maybe a little bit of heavy cream in it, mm-hmm. um, to kind of tamp down that sweetness a little bit. See, and I'd want, I'd want to put this over coffee. Yeah, Definitely. I would just get like black coffee and add this to it. I think it'd be good as the sweetener. Yeah, yeah as the sweetener. Exactly. You really don't need more cream or anything. Just use this a deeper, richer coffee flavor. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to add in that sweetness as well. Gotcha. I'm going to go over to 7 Eleven and uh, get one of their 99 cent uh, cold brews and add this too. It's going to be delicious. I-, I bet it would improve the coffee dramatically. <laughs> I'm yeah. not expecting a lot. It is 7 Eleven. Exactly. That's not, that's not horrible. It's a little bit too sweet for me, but nothing that, you know, ice and, you know, doctoring up a little bit wouldn't. I really sweet. like it. I drink it neat because it's delicious. <laughs> it's way too sweet for my palate. Oh, uh, I knew that. <laughs> but I would, I can understand completely how the majority of people that are going to be buying these types of things Absolutely. Will gravitate towards this massively. Yeah. This tastes yeah. like a sweetened coffee drink. Yeah, it really does. You put yeah, this really over does. ice, and you could probably convince somebody that that's an iced. It's a sweetened iced coffee. Right. Totally. I, I don't say you couldn't. I mean, besides, the, the only thing that would be the hard part is it is like jet black. It really is. Yeah. It's dark. Yeah, I mean, that's you, a, that is black. And it blends clingy. in with my shirt. Oh my yeah. gosh, how clingy that is. Oh, the sugars on there are crazy. Hmm. All right. I like it though. Well, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and click that notification bell. And until next time, keep on crusading for better liquids in your glass. Cheers. Cheers.
Mm. We didn't talk price point. Mm. Oh, it's like 25 bucks. Awesome. Given those Happy to I gotta get that's those a, on film. That's a big bitch. That's all I gotta say. A, How does it even fit under there? <laughs> so under the, the front of my cabinets don't have that second shelf, so it'll fit under the front. Uh, of but you got shelves in there, it ain't fitting. No, no, yeah, the back ones, no, you will not fit in the back. This, is a, this, is a, this bottle is for me. That's a big. Well, like, like, this is a tall bottle.